He's 27 years of age. He plays for Stellenbosch and has been smashing goals left, right and centre. Well, at Supersport United, things didn't work out for him, but he went back to, to, to Stelis and he resurrected his career and then now he is on top of his form. News have emerged saying that Carl Chips are targeting this track. This tracker goes by the name of Reynas. Uh, uh, allow me to unpack all of this. Prover Sorry guys, provided that you're interested. If you are interested, then please stick around. As you stick around guys, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. That favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do that? You need to do this because it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. So, the power is in your hands, good people. <laughs> so, speaking of the fact that their power is in your hands, um, it's quite interesting, it's quite nice to hear all of this, guys. So, uh, I, I don't know okay, if it's refreshing or what to hear that Ikai's achieves they are pursuing Uranus. Uh, considering the fact that Ikai's considering the fact that Ikai's achieves they are in the rebuilding phase, so he's 27 years of age. Does he fit the characters and the the age criteria that is needed for a team like Kara Chips to continue rebuilding? I don't know. Get into the comment section below. But before we, we start commenting about that as well, uh, let me give you the report, right? Um, it has been re reported that Reynas, on the other hand, has uh, really stood out the season. So it comes as a no surprise that Amakosi are interested in him. According to Sokalatuma, guys, this is what they say. Don't be surprised if the club decides to make a move for him at the end of the season. It's still early, but there is interest. A source confirmed that the Kaiser Chiefs Football Club are quite interested to sign Urainas. So, uh, me, na, I, I don't have a problem with Urainas, ne? Uh, not at all. I am actually, uh, I like what he's doing at Stelis. My challenge when it comes to Urainas is uh, the age is 27. But make no mistake, if Kazachivs were to get to Rhinos, I, 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 go Sophie, go Sophie, you know why I'm saying that. Because Chiefs, they are very deadly on transactional football. Yar, yar. You've got Sail, speed. You've got Dupree, speed. Dolly, speed. Du, Shavalala, speed. Then you have Rhinos, speed. I am as you, 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 when, when you start thinking about it and you're like, hmm, 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 something will happen here if they were to get him because of his hardware, you know, he's got this thing of being on the field and tormenting people. And uh, you, you can't, you cannot afford to make a mistake and forget about him. He's gonna tire your defense. And number two, if you give him a space, he's gone. So I think, from my understanding, he can be a perfect replacement for Upemenyimana. He will be a perfect replacement for Upemenyimana. That's just my, pers my, my, my perspective. What is your perspective? Because for me, honestly speaking, if ever there's a player that should be on the number one list, or should be the, or, or look, the number one player to leave Ikada Chips, it is none other than Upemenyimana. I think for me, if they don't loan him, they should sell him. And I mean, I think he can do well in smaller teams. I think he can do well. Because then there will be less pressure and you know what I'm saying. But that's the, that's the first player. The second player that I think should be loaned out it is Quinica. I think if if it was according to me, they could just loan him out one season. Or maybe back to Stelis as well. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I see it. But get into the comment section below. Guys, if you're looking at the way Carlos Chiefs are playing their football, You've got fastest players. Mind you, I've, may, I've named, uh, think about it now, you've got, I'll make an example, Reynas has signed for a Kaza Chiefs. So you will have Reynas, you will have uh, Christian Said, you will have Dupris, you will have uh, Dushamalala, you will have Keegan Dolly. Those players are very fast. So now I've named five players, including Reynas. Then you go to 
at the back, you've got the likes of Abo Dylan Solomon. The pace. That guy has got a pace. And he's got a pace for days. He can run for days. So you have players like that that can run for days. Right? Uh, who else am I forgetting that has got pace? I'm not sure about Samuel Ozoane's pace as far as color shield is concerned. I'm quite not sure about that. But I'm, I'm starting to see that what color shields are doing, they are building a team that if you play high line with a color shields, then you must make no mistake. They will punish you. But if you play a low block, they need players that will hold the ball and draw you out. And then, because they've got this look of play, look players with pace, then they will release those players. So think about it. Defenders will have a challenge to deal with this one. Let me show you why. So if you've got good ball, ball players, like the one, there's a guy at Stellenbosch that is said to be a, a very good ball player. You've got Usam Gelozwane. That guy has got beautiful passing range and he varied the game. And then you've got um, Danza, Duduzum Danzane coming in as well. So what then they do, they can just, if you're playing a high line, then what they do is just to release those players. Now defenders will have a full day at work. Defenders will have to man mark these people. And if you man mark them and they can still take you on, then you know that once they once they they leave haha <laughs> you gone you gone so this is what's going to happen here it, it, it's going to be difficult for defenders to assist one another let me show you what is going to happen you're going to have to sit at the back now and you're going to have to think if you leave to pray then to pray once you give him a small space he's gone in the look in the in, in the number nine position you've got rhinos he's got a speed once you give him a pace he's gone or on the other hand, you've got a Said. Once you give him a space, he's gone. Just be like, uh, just uh, the, the player is supporting them. Mdu Shabala, you give him a space, he's gone. You've got Dolly, you give him a space, he's gone. You see what defenders are faced with. So then it then forces teams to play a low block when they play against color teams. Because once you play a high line, because of these pacey players, uh, they're going to punish you. They're going to punish you. And they're gonna punish you and they're gonna punish you that is how they've been able think about it now let me not even say this think about it this way they've been able to get most of the teams into red card situations because of the pace and the mind you it's only sail do um, do dolly look um to please what what more if you add uh if you add aborenas what more if you add Abu Solomon at the back? Do you see the problems that you're gonna, you're gonna be facing? Now you, you're thinking, okay, if they are signing a player like this, it means it's gonna be a season, guys. It means it's gonna be a hell of a season. It means Kuzo Fiwa next season. Kuzo, these people, uh, uh, I don't know, but it's just the way I'm seeing them. Good, you know what? This is gonna be an interesting season, uh, next season. Judging from the style of play that Kaza Chips are playing. Uh, so in the middle field, if you do get a player such as Smongsen in Tetra, he's a hard, hard, hard working player. And also, uh, because of the type of transactional football that Kaza Chips are playing, they are very quick on the ball as well. So they want, a, they want players that can keep the ball, but also be quick as well, you know, and also have pace. So they are playing with players that have got pace. So I think yes, Smongsen in Tetra will also give them that. Though he's a defensive midfielder, but in terms of attack, he's he's got those abilities of playing that. Uh, yeah, from where I'm seated, I see something. I'm looking. I'm looking. There, I'm like, wow, something is building up here. But yeah, at this moment, we don't know if re really, 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 Rainas is actually joining in Kaza Chiefs because I mean, honestly speaking, we all have seen that every player is linked with Kaza Chiefs. And uh, come to think of it, at this moment, I haven't even included. Yeah, how did I forget? Oh, oh, number ten, Stellen, Stellenbosch, oh, man, yeah, he's a hard worker. Hey, if Kaza Chiefs were to get these players, I'm telling you, 
I, I, when, if they were to get all those players that they are linked with, especially Excel and Bosch, I, but I don't think it's possible. This player, um, Rainers, Mendiet, Sponsen and then him, this young player, Chapar, uh, age 20. Hey, I, I don't think it's possible. But if they were to get them, <laughs> hey, 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 I see, you see the red cards that we saw this season? I see them being multiplied next season. I just don't see how teams are going to be able to cope with that pressure. You and I have to decide to just defend the rest of the, of the game or you go high line and then it punch you. So you will never be smart against the color chips. So I'm seeing a very dangerous color chips can come next season. What's your take? Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about it. I'll see you on the next video. But until then, please take care.